St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Our celebrant today is the Bishop of the Diocese of London, Ontario, the Most Reverend Ronald Fabro. The tele televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from several donors. The first is a group of parishioners from St. Mary's Church in Lindsay, Ontario. The second are a couple from Calgary, Alberta, in thanksgiving for all the blessings they have received during their 40 years of marriage. They also ask for prayers for all family members living and deceased and for peace in the world. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada gathered for this celebration, we thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Peace. I would like to welcome you to this Eucharist at St. Basil's Church, especially those of you who are joining us from your homes, from hospitals, nursing homes, and infirmaries. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Robert Bellarmine, bishop and doctor of the church, a great defender of the Catholic faith. As we begin this Eucharist, we thank God for the gift of our faith and ask that in this Eucharist it might be strengthened. Conscious of our own unworthiness, we ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, you gave Robert Bellarmine wisdom and goodness to defend the faith of your church. By his prayers, may we always rejoice in the profession of our faith. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Strive for the greater gifts, and I will show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part, but when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, 
even as I have been fully known. And now, faith, hope, and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. steadfast 